In this video, we will discuss object detection using PLC ladder logic. If you see in the picture, we have two paths, path 1 and path 2. This path 1 is for people, this path 2 is for cars. In every path, there are two sensors. One is entry sensor and second one is exit sensor. This entry sensor activates when a person is before the sensor. Similarly, exit sensor activates when a person is before the exit sensor. And we have one lamp status here, red lamp, green lamp, yellow lamp for the people. Similarly, cars also, this is the entry point in entry sensor, exit sensor and lamps indication. One more buzzer also there for cars. Here we have to write a simple logic. Whenever the person enters, then this entry sensor or in gate sensor activates then we have to turn on a green lamp address is y1 if the person left from the exit sensor then after five seconds we have to turn off the green lamp okay see person is entering then the sensor activates turns on then lamp started person crossed the entry sensor lamp remains on but sensor off Again, exit sensor turns on, nothing happened. Again, he crosses the entry sensor. This one is off, but green light is on and it is off after five seconds. Okay, this is our logic. Similarly, we have to write a logic for cars. So, this is our entry sensor or in gate sensor X2 and X3 is the out gate sensor. These are the lamps and buzzer for the cars. So, in this example, we have to write a logic for cars. The logic is very similar to the people's logic, but with small modifications. So, for cars, X2 is the in gate sensor and X3 is the out gate sensor, entry sensor, exit sensor. When car enters, then X2 will be turned on. Then we have to turn on a green lamp. If the car passes from the exit sensor and left then after five seconds we have to turn off the green lamp but if the car entered but it was not left from this place in this case we have to turn on red lamp and a buzzer for this we have to write a logic first we will see the simulation car entered green lamp on now car is in between the entry sensor and exit sensor for more than 10 seconds so the red lamp will be activated then car is moving this exit sensor is on then after five seconds the green lamp will be turned off go to the software go to category d d2 minimize this so in this simulation we are using inputs and outputs from the simulation only no need of operation panel so first note down the required inputs and outputs for people side we have to use two sensors which is x0 in gate sensor and x1 out gate sensor and one green lamp which is y1 so first we will write the logic for this so now click edit ladder so program will change take one envelope contact and enter entry sensor address which is x0 okay then we have to turn on a green lamp right so take one output coil instruction enter y1 okay as the input sensor x0 will give you only a single pulse right whenever the person enters the sensor will be turned on whenever the person left from the entry sensor again sensor will be turned off right it is not a continuous signal so we have to latch the output y1 take one branch instruction with envo contact enter output address which is y1 click ok fine next we have to write a logic with exit sensor here this exit sensor will turn on when a person appears before the exit sensor it will change state from 0 to 1 but here we have to take the status of exit sensor whenever the person really left from the exit sensor in this case we have to take exit sensor on to off state as input nothing but 1 to 0 as a state right this 1 to 0 nothing but a falling edge input instruction 
सो टेक वन फॉलोइंग एज इंस्ट्रक्शन दिस वन एफ दिस इज फॉलोइंग एज इनपुट इंस्ट्रक्शन वेन आवर इनपुट चेंजेस इट स्टेट फ्रॉम वन टू जीरो दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन विल गिव यू ए सिंगल पल्स आउटपुट एंटर एग्जिट गेट सेंसर एड्रेस हियर एक्स वन ओके नाउ वॉट आई विल डू I will take one output internal memory address. Click coil instruction. Enter memory address M zero. And again, I will attach the memory address with M zero. So here we need a timer. After five seconds, then only we have to turn off the green lamp, right? So take one timer. Vertical line. Select here and take coil instruction. Enter timer value with timer address T zero space K and we need five seconds so enter fifty. Okay, so after five seconds this timer will be activated. Then we have to turn off the green lamp. So select here, insert one NC contact of timer T zero. So when our timer completes its five seconds. This T zero will be activated. As it is an NC contact, it becomes open. Whenever it is open, it will unlatch the output instruction for green lamp. We used one internal memory here, right? M zero, because for timer it needs a continuous input. Okay, during the five seconds running time, it needs a continuous input. But here we used falling edge input instruction. This will only give you a single pulse whenever the sensor changes its state from on to off. But for timer, we need continuous signal. So with this help of exit sensor, we activated a internal memory and we used a latch to provide a continuous signal to the timer. So after timer completes its operation, we have to unlatch the memory bit here M0 also. Then only it can work for second time, right? If it is continuously stayed on. The timer is not going to run again. So insert a NC contact of timer T zero. Okay. So this will unlatch the memory bit address. Now the logic is completed for people side. Again, we will write the same logic for cars. So before writing the logic, note down the required inputs and outputs. For cars, X two is the entry sensor. X three is the outgate sensor. The address of green lamp is Y four and red lamp is Y three and buzzer is Y seven. So write the same logic for cars. Take one N one contact. Enter entry sensor address which is X two and take one output coil instruction and connect it to green lamp which is Y four. Okay. Again latch the green lamp. Y four because our input is a single pulse. Next, take one falling edge instruction for exit sensor. Enter the exit sensor address, which is X three. Again, take one internal memory bit, say M one. Again, latch the internal memory bit. M one. Again, take one timer. Coil instruction. Take timer one T one space K. Enter for five seconds. Nothing but fifty. Okay. Again, after five seconds, we have to turn off the green lamp. Right. Place the cursor here, and take one NC contact of timer. And the timer address T one. Again, implement the NC contact of timer here also in the second rung for car side. This will unlatch the memory bit. So we have only one logic is pending, which is if the car is in between entry sensor and exit sensor for ten seconds, then we have to activate the red lamp and buzzer. So for this, what I will do, I will take one. And one contact of green lamp here Y four green lamp address and NC contact of memory bit M one. This end logic 
will give you a signal when the car is in between entry sensor and exit sensor with this we have to activate a timer we need a timer for 10 seconds right so take t2 timer t2 space k 100 10 seconds nothing but 10 seconds so when our car is in between entry sensor and exit sensor these two will activate so timer will be started if timer activates means timer will be activated only if the car is in between for 10 seconds so t2 then we have to activate the red lamp and buzzer right connect it to red lamp enter address y3 okay and also a buzzer right take one branch here output branch vertical line okay place here connect it to buzzer which is y7 okay so our logic is completed we will test it using simulation first convert it and then write to plc it will download to the plc okay in simulation if i click this button move the person then the person will be moved so i will do this step by step see and then i stop okay now the person is before the entry sensor this entry sensor is on x0 is on and green lamp is also on if you see in the logic see x0 is on y1 is also on y1 is nothing but a green lamp now i will move this person again to little bit forward x0 is off x0 is off but the green lamp is on because with the help of latch the green lamp is continuously on even though the input is off right again i will move the person see the person is at exit sensor exit sensor is on the green lamp still on because this exit sensor can only activate the m0 only when the person left from the exit sensor here the person is at exit sensor right so the exit sensor is turned on but this m0 is still not at 2 because we used a falling edge instruction here this m0 will be only on when person left from the exit sensor nothing but now the sensor is on whenever the person left it will change to off so whenever the input change from on to off then only this m0 will be at 2 see i'll move the person m0 is on here timer is started here after 5 seconds green lamp will be stopped see green lamp is stopped we can see the same thing again so observe the logic now whenever i am moving the person this x0 will be on now the person is at entry sensor only so this is the state now i will move the person to the little bit forward still green lamp is on now i'll move the person before the exit sensor now the person left from the exit sensor timer started after five seconds it will reset both outputs y1 and m0 similarly we will do the simulation for car side right so this is our car logic i'm driving the car now my in gate sensor is on x2 is on green lamp is also on car is there for more than 10 seconds in between entry sensor and exit sensor that's why red lamp is also on buzzer is also on again car left from the exit sensor green lamp is on again still because of timer now green lamp is also off now i will repeat the same simulation without stopping the car in between entry sensor and exit sensor see x2 on green lamp on car exited green lamp will be off so this is our logic okay you can see the logic here one more time car entered 
कार लेफ्ट ओके दिस इज द सिंपल एग्जांपल फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन यूजिंग लैडर लॉजिक प्रोग्रामिंग आई विल मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन